Did you know that Robert E. Lee, the famous Confederate general during the U.S. Civil War, never owned a single slave? This fact may seem surprising, given his association with the Confederate cause, but it's just one of many intriguing aspects of this complex historical figure. Robert E. Lee was born in 1807 in Stratford, Virginia, into one of the most distinguished families in the state. His father was a Revolutionary War hero, and his mother was a cousin of George Washington. Despite his family's prominence, Lee grew up in relative poverty due to his father's financial troubles. This early experience of hardship played a significant role in shaping Lee's character and his approach to leadership. In 1829, Lee graduated second in his class from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He then embarked on a long and distinguished military career, serving in various capacities in the U.S. Army for over 30 years. He was known for his strategic genius, his dedication to duty, and his deep sense of honor. When the U.S. Civil War broke out in 1861, Lee faced a profound dilemma. Although he was opposed to secession, he felt a strong loyalty to his home state of Virginia. After much soul-searching, he decided to resign from the U.S. Army and offer his services to the Confederacy. For the next four years he served as the commander of the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia, leading his troops in many of the war's most significant battles. Lee's military strategies during the Civil War have been the subject of much debate among historians. Some have criticized him for his aggressive tactics, which often resulted in heavy casualties. Others, however, have praised his strategic acumen and his ability to keep the Confederate cause alive despite overwhelming odds. After the war, Lee became the president of Washington College in Lexington, Virginia. He spent the last five years of his life working to educate the next generation of Southern leaders, promoting reconciliation between the North and South, and advocating for the education of freed slaves. He died in 1870, leaving behind a complex legacy that continues to be studied and debated to this day. In conclusion, Robert E. Lee was a man of many contradictions. He was a Confederate general who never owned a slave, a military genius whose tactics have been both praised and criticized, and a Southern leader who worked for reconciliation after the war. His life and career offer a fascinating window into one of the most tumultuous periods in American history. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the life and legacy of Robert E. Lee. If you found this video informative and interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more compelling historical content.